choose the wrong sunscreen, and you or your kids could get burned. Most of the 19 top-selling products Consumer Reports recently tested protected very well against UVB rays that cause sunburn, and many products were very good at protecting against UVA radiation. Consumer Reports tested sunscreens with an SPF, a sun protection factor, between 30 and 75 plus, and found that no one type protected best, and price had nothing to do with performance. Two top performers were deemed CR best buys for their value, no ad with aloe and vitamin E SPF 45, the least expensive of all the sunscreens tested at 59 cents an ounce, and Walgreens continuous spray sport SPF 50, which costs $1.39 an ounce. Both earned high marks for the protection they offer. Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Cream Lotion SPF 50 and Banana Boat Kids Tear Free Sting Free SPF 75 Plus earned the lowest marks for their poor protection against UVA radiation, which penetrates deeper, tanning, and aging skin. But no matter which sunscreen you choose, the product should have an SPF of at least 30 and should be water resistant. In addition to applying sunscreen, Consumer Reports advises everyone to wear a hat and protective clothing to stay safe in the sun. And when using any sunscreen, follow these tips. Check the product's ingredients. Oxybenzone may interfere with hormones in the body, and nanoscale zinc and titanium oxides have been linked to potential reproductive and developmental effects. In skin, retinal palmitate converts readily to retinoids, which are associated with a risk of birth defects in people using retinoid-containing acne medications. Pregnant women may want to avoid products with retinal palmitate. Spray carefully. The FDA has said it's exploring the risks of inhaling spray sunscreens. Until more safety information is available, avoid using sprays on children. If you do, spray it on your hands or theirs and rub it on. And use enough sunscreen, two to three tablespoons of lotion for an adult body, or spray as much as can be rubbed in, then repeat. Reapply every two hours and after swimming or sweating. For more information on sunscreens, including a guide to the FDA's new labeling regulations and access to our full ratings, visit ConsumerReports.org.